You are being recorded right now, so yes. What was your question? Uh, you want to go to the restroom? Uh, okay, I hope that pass is really good then. So what we're going to do is you're going to want to take out a sheet of paper so you can write down how to help you out in dividing fractions. So on dividing fractions, um, I'm going to get to on the last problem why we're going to do what we're going to do. But if you guys can just kind of remember shortcut, um, remember adding fractions, you added the numerator, kept the denominator the same, right? They had to have the same denominator though. Mm -hmm. um, that was adding and subtracting was the same thing. It's either you add or subtract the numerator, but the denominator had to be the same. Multiply, fractions you just multiply across. Dividing, we don't actually ever divide our fractions. What we like to do, or kind of an easy shortcut, and I'll show you why, is we like to just flip the second fraction, make sure it's the second fraction, order, doesn't, order is important. We're gonna flip the second fraction and turn it into a multiplication problem. So on my example, I have 5 eighths divided by 1 eighth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to a multiplication problem. So then, now that I've changed it to a multiplication problem, if I remember multiplication, I multiply the numerator times the numerator, the denominator times the denominator. 5 times 8 is 40. 8 times 1 is 8. Then I can reduce this, I can divide this by eight on top and bottom, which would be what? Um, five over one, which equals five. Correct? Right? Okay. Questions? You can ask. Okay. For the next problem. Now it says a negative sign. If you guys remember when I was talking about negative signs, when there's a negative sign right in front of it, it either means the top or the bottom is negative. It, it just means one part of the fraction is negative. All right? Um, it does not mean this. That's a big misconception. Everybody thinks, oh, if it's negative in front, that means the top and the bottom are negative. No, because if the top and bottom were negative, they would cancel out. So we're just going to make one of them negative, one of them positive. It doesn't matter. Let's make the top negative for both of them. Okay? You could have done the bottoms, or you could do a bottom and a top. It doesn't matter. Just pick one. Just move it up to there. It'll help you with your um, help you with your work. So now I'm going to change to a multiplication problem. So I have negative three fourths multiplied by flip the second fraction. Negative three times four, negative twelve. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Negative 12 divided by negative 12 is positive 1. Could somebody please raise their hand if they know the answer? Does anybody, you will be recorded, know your answer. Does anybody know what we call these numbers like this? Give a shot. Huh? Okay. Yes? Nope. Um, it rhymes with typical. Yes. Typical. Yes. These are what we call reciprocals. Yeah. Okay. Oh. oh. And take a little mental note. Reciprocal. Reci <laughs> I don't know what that was. But yes, reciprocals. Take a little mental note. When you multiply reciprocals, what number do you get? Right. One. That becomes very important, especially in our last problem. Over here, I'm going to kind of speed this up a little bit. Two times three. Or, I'm sorry, 2 divided by 3 multiplied by negative 5 over 8. 2 times negative 5 is a negative 10. 3 times 8 is uh, 24. Uh, we could reduce this. Hold on one second. We could reduce this. Um, you can both divide the top bottom by 5 or by 2. So they divide, divide out a 2 out of negative 10. You're left with a negative 5. And divide a 2 out of 24 and you give it a 12. Yes, is the question on this problem? Uh -huh. So every time you buy, it's going to be by two every time? No, not at all. It, comes. it could be, um, you could do six, six nines. Two doesn't go into nine, does it? Uh -huh. no. Two, but two does go into six, uh -huh. but it has to be the same number for both of them. So the only number you can factor out here would be factored out of three. All right, so the next question is, but, um, like, when it, it's a negative and a positive, so how would you know it's a negative 10 and put a negative 10? Because 2 times a negative 5 gives me negative 10. I know. Sometimes it goes down. I'm sorry? Sometimes it goes down and the positive goes higher. 
Like, we have, like, a positive team to make it fun. Yes, they be. And just remember this real quick. A positive times a positive will give you a positive. A positive times or divided, doesn't matter. A positive times a divided, or a positive number times a negative number will always give you a negative. And a negative times a negative will always give you a positive. And we'll work on that a little bit more. Last one. Here's our big problem. Two-fifths times six-sevenths. Holy crap. This looks a lot different than what you are doing before, right? Guess what? It's the same thing. Okay? But... So, how do I flip though? Everything looks so confusing, so different. Well, hold on. What I'm, what I'm trying to get to real quick is, remember, if you guys, any number divided by one, like five divided by one over here, gave you what? Five. Five, five right? So what our, what our goal is to get this bottom to be one, right? We, want, we only want one fraction. Right now we have two fractions. So we want to get this bottom to be one. So we know we have to multiply what by what, or a, no, a fraction by what to get it to be one? Typical, mm -hmm. reciprocal, reciprocal. reciprocal, right? And was that what you guys were gonna add, or what, what was your guys' question? You didn't say multiply reciprocal. So if I multiply the bottom by the reciprocal, multiply by the reciprocal, and where we multiply the bottom, you have to multiply the top. So this becomes what? One, right? So I have 2 over 5 times 7 over 6 over 6 sevenths times 7 6. Well, this comes out to 1, right? Well, what is this doing? Look at this. That's the exact problem. When we divide one fraction divided by the other, essentially what we're doing is just multiplying by the reciprocal of your second fraction. So then again, we go back to our point. So we divide by four, 2 times 7 is 14, 5 times 6 is 30. And that's all divided by one, but I don't need to write divided by one because we know it's not going to do anything. Then again, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, um, students. Again, we have a reduced fraction, and it is again going to be taken out of two. So I take out a two, so it'll be seven fifteenths, and that would be your final answer. So any last questions on this? Anything real quick? This video is kind of getting a little long for people. No. no. So that's how you guys divide fractions. If it looks like this, or if it looks like that, it's the exact same thing. All right. Yeah, come on, leave it out, leave it out, yeah.